So this is an eastern white pine and it is a little over 12 feet long and it's also 24 inches in diameter at both ends. According to the wood web, <laughs> this old girl weighs 1,401 pounds and uh, it's more, way too much for my little tractor to lift up. The 2025R can comfortably lift a thousand pounds and when I say comfortably I wouldn't lift it far off the ground but I can curl it and I can put it on the mill. So I'm going to take a round off of this and we're going to see if I can get that on the mill without wrecking the tractor. I do have ramps and a winch and I can power buckle it up if I have to but this would be convenient if I don't have to. What I need to make out of this, I need to get uh, some 2x12s 10 feet long so I can take some some length off of this and see if I can't take a, a couple hundred pounds here and there, shave the other end off so I get some some uh, not so dry wood to put my blade into, so the leisure on the blade. So anyway, let's cut this up and see if I can't move it. Wish me luck. friends is a large log <clears throat> oh boy yes sir those little tractors are unbelievable what they'll do I don't know why it, it continues to do what I ask it to do you think it would just roll over and protest every time it sees me coming out here to the mill, but it's quite a machine. I'd have another one tomorrow. I don't know if I'd, I might get, the next one I get might be like a 2038. This one's a, a 2025. The 2038's just a little bit bigger chassis and of course a few more horses. I never run out of horsepower, never. I always run out of uh, traction before I run out of power. Pulling logs around the mill. I use this machine behind me that you can see, and its job is to uh, to push the tractor when it gets light. It's got a driven rear axle, of course, so it makes a big.
big difference. We grind this uh, this bark up, make bark mulch out of it, with all of the edges from my boards when I when I re-edge the boards. So I've got to protect myself here a little bit. I'm going to put this stop up. I need to get my backstops up a little closer to the uh, to the center point because it's too far. It's too far in that direction that the band wheel will, will hit it. So I'm going to push this log over, lift my backstops up, take a cut and see if I can't turn it with a PV. So you guys remember me saying I want to build a, a log loader, log roller. This is the real reason why this kind of log. If I can't fit this one up. Alright. A little better. Big chunk of bark. Take the chainsaw. I think I'm going to trim that edge off a little bit. This is Steel's smallest professional saw. It's a 261 cm, and I put an 18-inch bar on. It comes with a 16-inch, which is plenty, I think, the 16-inch. But I have another 16-inch saw, and just that extra two inches, if you're bucking on the ground, firewood makes a huge difference. <laughs> That's all that needs. It won't go anywhere. So I took my microphone off. Just got to make a bunch of racket with the sawmill anyway. So let's get this uh, top slab off and see if we can't uh, get our 2x12s out of this. down. I'm hopeful I can do it easy. It still weighs a thousand, maybe not a hundred pounds.
we'll take another small slab off the top of that. Uh, try to get some manageable pieces, get it down to the 12 inch cant. And you can see how crooked and how many uh, bellies and horns are in that. So we're going to clean all that up. And that piece I took off, I can get a, an eight foot piece of two by six, which is eight maybe. Take another two inch at a time. Those are bite sized manageable pieces that I don't hurt myself with. Let's get at it. Twelve inches thick. So I'll be able to stand that up and take my two by twelves this way out of that. You see how automatic turners and automatic dogs and log stops would look good.
Well, we're getting two by eight, eight feet long over there. So it would have been just garbage otherwise. Needs a little better foraging. There's another two by eight. And this one will make a two by six out of it. one more inch that'd be a seven inch that'll give us another one by 12 and a couple more edges off of these and uh, take it down to six inches I'll turn this one over and, and clean the other edge up but as least amount of waste as possible all of those edges from the boards I'm going to turn into uh, grinding I grind them up with my chipper shredder and we use them around the yard and the slab wood I've been running through my processor and uh, filling my own wood shed with some of it I try to keep a quarter or two ahead of, of dry softwood for the winter and then I'll sell the rest or even give the rest away if I can help somebody out. I don't mind that at all.
So there, that's just how easy it is to make a bunch of one by tens. Beautiful lumber. Hard to beat that, eh? So. so from that one log, I managed to get 255 board feet and various piles of, uh, of lumber around the yard for different orders. There's a couple of two by twelves, there's uh, two by sixes, two by eights, lots of one by and some one by twelves. I think there's two or more, two or three more one by twelves that I already put in the rack. So it was uh, a profitable log. It was a lot of work. Is probably more work for the tractor than for me, obviously. Um, if you've seen that effort that that poor little tractor had to make. So you see just how easy it is to make, you know, 300 bucks, just about 300 bucks worth of lumber out of that log. And uh, I've got, that's 255 board feet, I think I calculated out. I've got some in the rack, I've got some in the forks of the tractor. There's still some 1x12s on the mill, and I've got some um, 2x12s that are ready to go out to a a customer that's looking to brace up a treehouse, I think, for their kids. I don't sell graded lumber, so the lumber that I sell, if somebody puts it in their dwelling, their main dwelling, that's totally on them. It has nothing to do with, with me. I don't uh, pretend that I'm selling kiln-dried lumber or that's graded or stamped. It's uh, just dimensional lumber. Um, big part of my business is selling things that you just can't buy at the Home Depot or the local building supply. Somebody opens up a house and there's one and a quarter inch thick, you know, a five quarter by nine inch board kind of thing. So they'll call me and they'll need 10 of those to, to secure up their, um, secure up their house before they put the siding on or put a roof back on, something like that. So I get a call and that is exactly what I'm interested in. I'm not so crazy over just trying to compete with two by fours and and one by sixes that I just can't compete. Those are factories that build those, that mill those lumber. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I know it's been a long, boring video. Um, if you stayed with me this far, I would like to send you a medal because it's pretty boring, I'm sure, if you're not here listening and uh, paying attention to all that's going on. So thanks. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do. Um, I think that the content you get here is it isn't professional quality by any stretch of the imagination. What I do, I make a living at it, and I film it basically for my own entertainment because it's kind of fun. But the, the channel's growing. It's, uh, we're just about to crack the 3,000 subscriber mark, which is significant, I think. For I'm not really trying hard. I'm not making an effort. I know some guys try to release a couple of videos a week or maybe even daily, but I'm trying to get on the couple of times a month, um, and I go in fits and starts. Sometimes it's easier just for me to... Um, to do the project and not film it than it is to film it. So anyway, thanks again and uh, look forward to see you on the next video. Over and out.